Welcome back to Comparison World Facts! Today we're comparing Bangladesh to South Korea. Did you know Bangladesh was once Eastern Pakistan? Did you know that South Koreans are the biggest drinkers in Asia? Keep watching and subscribe! Firstly, what are some similarities between the two? One interesting similarity between Bangladesh and South Korea is nature, but not in a good sense. Both countries are prone to extreme amounts of flooding, so much so that the CBC even named Bangladesh the nation learning to embrace flooding. So why is Bangladesh at such a high risk of flooding? Well, it's mainly because Bangladesh is situated on the Brahmaputra River Delta and many other small rivers that flow into the Bay of Bengal. The total number of rivers within Bangladesh is roughly 700. The river delta covers more than 105 square kilometers and is mainly located within Bangladesh and India. So why does this river cause floods so often? Well, it's a combination of many different reasons, but the main three are the water runoff from the Himalayan mountains, the Indian Ocean's tropical cyclones, and the monsoons of South Asia. Altogether, roughly 3.5 million Bangladeshi people are at risk of river flooding each year. South Korea also suffers from many natural disasters on an annual basis. On average, there are roughly seven floods per year from heavy rainfall. Also, South Koreans experience an average of two to three typhoons per year. On top of this, the country is also very prone to earthquakes. In 2021 alone, the country endured a total of 54 earthquakes. However, the Korean peninsula typically only experiences minor earthquakes. Up next, what are the differences between the two? South Korea is roughly 100,000 square kilometers, while Bangladesh is approximately 148,000 square kilometers. Meanwhile, the population of South Korea is 51.8 million. Bangladesh has over three times that, with 164.7 million people. Another big difference between the two is their wealth. Bangladesh has only a GDP of USD 1,900 per capita. Meanwhile, South Korea has a much larger GDP of 31,500 per capita. Bangladesh's poor economy has made it known for its poverty. However, in the past few decades, they have quickly eradicated extreme poverty. Between 1978 and 2018, Bangladesh's population living on less than $1.90 USD per day has fallen from 90% to 9%. Additionally, between 2008 and 2018, the per capita income increased by 150%. The recent changes the developing Bangladesh government has been making to become more profitable are working. Another massive difference between the two nations is the nation's favorite sports. In South Korea, you're most likely interested in football or baseball. Bangladeshi prefer to play cricket. Bangladesh is one of the top 10 cricketing nations in the world. However, they also like football, being their second favorite sport. Keep watching to learn about South Korea's 70-plus year war. What should you do while in Bangladesh? So, you're planning a trip to Bangladesh but can't figure out what to do? Don't worry, we've got you taken care of. The first thing we recommend you do is go see Rangamti, where you'll see the beautiful man-made Kaptai Lake. Hills surround the lake and you can hire local boat owners to take you out on the lake for the day. The area is home to several tribal groups and a nearby monastery named Rajban Bihar. The monastery is the single largest Buddhist monastery in Bangladesh. The area is one of the country's greatest tourist attractions. Another great place to visit is Cox's Bazaar. This beach is the longest sandy beach in the world. It spans 125 kilometers of unbroken sand. The beach is arguably the most popular tourist attraction in Bangladesh. So if you want to avoid the crowds, it's best to go to a resort with its private beach. But if you're not interested in something involving water, we've still got something for you. The small village of Puthia is full of incredible Hindu temples, many of which are still very well maintained. The temples are made of a unique design of terracotta. The temples are also laid out around the nearby lake. Up next, what should you do while in South Korea? The first thing we'd recommend is checking out the Gyeongbokgung Palace. The palace was the principal palace for the Joseon Dynasty and finished construction back in 1395. Sadly, much of the original building was destroyed or damaged back in the Imjin War, which lasted from 1592 to 1598 but it was repaired and restored to its initial beauty years later in 1852 under King Gojong. In addition, admission to the palace is very cheap, only 3,000 won for adults, roughly 3 US dollars, and only 1,500 won or approximately $1.50 for those under 18. So not only is it a beautiful location to see, but it's also very affordable. The next recommendation we have for you is Seongsan Ilchilbong, also known as Sunrise Peak. The crater was formed roughly 5,000 years ago by what is believed to be a large underwater volcanic eruption. The crater looks incredible from the bottom, but it's nothing compared to the reward waiting for you after climbing to the top. There are two ways up and both take roughly 20 minutes and another 20 minutes to come down. So it's not as arduous as some climbs. 
The Sunrise Peak is one of the seven new wonders of the world. So, what foods should you try in these countries? If you're looking to be an adventurous eater while traveling to either of these countries, we recommend you try Hodiok while in South Korea. They're essentially a sweeter version of the Western pancake. It's one of the most common street foods, and its dough is filled with a mixture of honey, cinnamon, brown sugar, and small pieces of peanuts for an added crunch. A second food to try while in South Korea is Samgyeopsal, which is essentially pork strips. But not just plain pork strips. These are dipped in a mixture of salt, pepper, and sesame oil, which are then wrapped in lettuce and grilled. It's typically garnished with garlic, onion slices, and green onions. So if you'd like to try some Samgyeopsal, you might be able to without traveling to South Korea. So what should you try while you're in Bangladesh? We recommend you try some Panta Ilish. This is the most popular dish for Bangladeshis to eat at the start of the Bangla year. It's also a great symbol of their culture because it's the most popular food in Bangladesh. Panta Ilish is a dish with a bed of rice, a char, sometimes called the South African pickle, a large piece of hilsa fish with various spices such as turmeric, chili powder, and others. It usually comes with spicy peppers, onion, and often tomato. So, which of the two would be better to be born in? If you had the option to choose which of the two you could be born in, which should you pick? Well, for starters, if you were born in South Korea, you'd be roughly 90% less likely to die during childbirth. You'd also be 90% less likely to die during your infancy. On top of that, if you were born in South Korea, you'd be guaranteed to have access to electricity. Meanwhile, only three quarters of the population has access to electricity in Bangladesh. On top of all of this, living in South Korea would give you an average of nine more years of life. The average life expectancy in Bangladesh is only 74 years. Meanwhile, it's over 83 years in South Korea. You'd also make roughly nine times as much money in Korea with a higher likelihood of actually getting a job as well. This time, it's a clear choice. If we could be born in either of these countries, we'd undoubtedly pick South Korea each time. Up next, what are some interesting facts about the two countries? Did you know that North and South Korea have technically been at war since 1950? Both countries agreed to a ceasefire in 1953, and there haven't been any actual battles since, but they are technically still at war, as they haven't signed any peace treaties. An interesting fact about Bangladesh is the Bay of Bengal, the bay we mentioned earlier, is actually the largest bay in the world. It's bordered by five countries, India, Bangladesh, Maldives, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. So there you have it, everything you need to know about the comparison between Bangladesh and South Korea. Do you think you'll ever get tired of either of these countries? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Also, comment your thoughts on our comparison!